Hey everybody, this is Jeremy from Production Den. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use the Akai MPK Mini MIDI keyboard in my workflow for both FL Studio and using the package of products from Native Instruments Complete. So let's jump in. So this is a new song project that I'm working on and I wanted to show you how I set up the MIDI controller to do that. So I'm going to jump in here to the settings. First one is MIDI and here's where I make sure that the input is selected correctly for my MIDI keyboard. And so what that does is, is say that this controller is enabled, make sure that that button's on, and then you can check out of that. And then what you should be able to do is go down to one of these samples or whatever sample you may have loaded. And when you press on the keyboard, you're gonna get the sample firing. Um, so typically what I do when I'm trying to just record a pattern, let's go ahead and press F4, it's gonna bring up a new pattern. We'll just call this kick test. Okay, and I'm gonna go just to pattern. So if I play the click track of what I've got, it's going at 120 BPM right now, it'll sound like this. So when I want to record, I would right click here and make sure that the notes is enabled. And so what I'll do is I'll actually use the keyboard to control this particular sample. So if I play it first, just by pressing the space bar, So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Let's go ahead and press R on your keyboard or you can press the record button up here on the transport controls. So I'm gonna press R. All right, so when we stop that, when we press the space bar and stop it, if you look up here, let's turn this recording off as well. You'll notice that all those notes have gone into the piano roll. So when I play that back by pressing the space bar, all right, so if I want to adjust some of these, I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag around those two notes. I'm gonna hold down alt so I can shift it just a little bit and shift those more towards right on the line, right on the grid. And I'm gonna do the same thing back here, control, First to select them, hold Alt, and that way it'll give me a little bit more flexibility. Then I'll slide those a little bit more towards the line. And now when I play it, everything's just a little bit more on grid. So that's one of the basic ways that I do samples for drums in FL Studio with the Akai MPK Mini 2. All right, so for this section, I'm going to show you how I actually use the MIDI controller when I'm laying down some simple VST instruments. So for that, I'm going to press F4 to set up a new pattern. And I'm going to call this B3 Bridge because I'm going to lay down like a Hammond B3 sample. So if I open up Contact, you can see I'm using Contact, the Tone Mill Organ B3 from the factory settings. I know it's kind of grating and high pitch, but you'll understand. We're, we're going to be laying down some chords in this little section here. All right, so what I'm going to do is make sure that everything again is set up to record the notes up here. Right click on it, make sure notes is recorded, recording, and then, all right, so I have my Thing set up, ready to go. So I'm gonna press R, and then we're gonna go ahead and lay down those chords real quick. Oops, I screwed that up, which will happen more than on many occasions. So I'm gonna go back into the pattern window, or to the channel rack window, and I'm gonna press Control X to get rid of that pattern really quickly. Um, this is what you can do if you make mistakes. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and delete that. And then I'm still set up to record. So, all right, so let's go ahead and press the R again, and then I'll start us back off.
I press the space bar and you should see that it appears down here, what we just got through doing. So if I hold down control and I write our mouse wheel scroll, you'll see that all of those notes have been recorded that we just laid out. Um, and you'll see in the channel rack that that's right here. And then you'll see down in the actual song that that got laid out right here. So when we listen to it, it kicks in right here. And that's a lot louder than I want it to be, but it helps me just to track what I'm doing uh, while I'm recording it to have it a little bit louder. And then once I render it out into an audio file, then I'll actually adjust the volume and then mix that down into the rest of the song. Um, this song isn't mixed right now, so you're just kind of hearing the raw tracks as they're being recorded and arranged in this particular song. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to go in here and create a, a kit using the FPC plugin and then programming all these pads so you can have a kit that you can play uh, with these touch pads. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna open up FPC. We're gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna come and select empty. And what that does is just give you a completely blank slate to work with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is click on this first pad and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna say learn. We're gonna click on that where it says C3. It'll bring up this menu and we're gonna say learn. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press that first pad on the Akai. And then we're gonna to come to this one and click on it. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go over here to learn and then hit that second pad. And then we're gonna come over here to the third one. We're gonna go over here to learn and we're gonna click that pad. And then we are going to do the same thing through the rest of these um, eight pads. And then I'm actually going to, uh, for these last ones, because sometimes you'll see that multiple of pads are firing at the same time. And that just bothers me, so I'm going to make sure for the rest of these eight that they're just select a very, uh, another note that's way high up. So I'm just gonna select like G10. So now when I press each of these pads, you'll see that they correspond to those, oops, I missed one. They correspond to these four, these eight pads that are sitting on the Akai. And so now what you can do is you could load in all of the samples that you wanted to load in from a specific kit. So you could put in like a kick on your first one, and then you come in and put a snare. And you can come in on your third one and maybe drop in a hi-hat. So let's drop in this one. And that lets you just map in an entire kit on these eight pads and you can play it all at once using this. Um, and then the next thing that you can do is you could actually come in here to this. You could rename it, call it Kick. You can give it an icon by using this drop down arrow at the top. So I know that's a kick and maybe I want it to be like a blue color. So now it's labeled that I know that this is a kick. So I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing. I'm gonna go snare. I'm gonna pick that icon. Maybe select the same blue color for this one. And then maybe on the hi hat, if I right click, drop down, pick hi hat, and then pick maybe a green color. And I can do that for all of these if I know that I'm gonna do the same kind of setup for each one of those. And that just lets you program out an entire kit with those eight pads 
And then the other thing that you can do is you can set up where you want that to output each one of these you can output to the mixer track. So let's go ahead and output these. I'm going to select that to output one. This one to output two. And this one to output three. So now if I press F9, let's, let's shrink this down just a little bit so you can see both of them. When I press kick, it's coming into channel one. And then this is coming into two. So then I could go in and put in all kinds of EQs and reverbs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, and if you want to save this as a preset, you can come up here, go to preset and say save as, I'm sorry, just come into this, right click and then say save preset as. And when you do that, it's going to bring up a window and then you can save as you want what you want it to be. Well guys, I hope that was helpful for you to see how to actually set up the Akai MPK Mini 2 in FL Studio and then use it for instruments from the package like Native Instruments Complete, but also with some of the default instruments inside of FL Studio, like the FPC. And speaking of that, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to download the template that I showed you about of setting up a drum kit to work with the pads on the MIDI keyboard. So if you want to get access to that, just click the link below. You'll have to enter your email and then it'll download for you really quickly. But I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I'll see you in the next round.